Hi, I've had a number of requests for a class emphasizing work in the chest, shoulders, upper back with a nice long slow warm up. So it's going to be a shorter class, but we're going to warm up um, for a good length of it. And then the poses that we're going to do are going to be focused on our upper body. And then of course we'll get, you know, the whole package too, as we do in all yoga classes. So we'll do um, some work in the the hips and legs uh, as a bonus. So come into child's pose. Connect to your breath and connect to your space as you sink your forehead down toward the floor and just come into the present moment. Find your ujjayi breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. Start to regulate the passage of air in and out with a gentle constriction to the back of your throat. You'll start to hear your breath as you move from your regular breathing into your ujjayi breathing. Stay connected to this breath. So right away, we're stretching into our hips as we rest in child's pose. And <clears throat> if you have your arms extended long, fingertips reaching toward the front of your mat, you're gonna get a nice stretch in your shoulders. We're gonna increase the stretch in our shoulders now by coming into Anahatasana, or heart melting pose. So bring your hips over your knees. I'm gonna move back toward the back of my mat so I have a little more space. And then keeping your hips over your knees, start to walk your hands forward and just to the edges of your mat. So get a nice long stretch of your hands forward and then sink your chest and your forehead down toward the floor. Hips stay up. So this gets us deeper into our shoulders, sinking our chest toward the floor. Take two more breaths in and out through your nose in Anahatasana. And now walk your hands back, <clears throat> come into tabletop position. <clears throat> Start moving breath to movement. With your ujjayi breath, inhale through your nose, release your belly down for cow face, cow pose, lift the crown of your head, and then as you breathe out, round into cat pose, drawing your tailbone toward the mat and lifting and separating your shoulder blades to feel that stretch in your upper back and your neck. Keep going back and forth at the pace of your own breath. and let your breath be your guide as you move through your posture. So if the breath starts to get ragged, slow down or back off. Tuck all 10 toes under and then sit your hips back to your heels for toes pose. Okay, so we're gonna get, in, get into our feet as we continue to stretch our shoulders. So we're gonna do a little um, heat building here in the shoulders. So extend your arms out to the side, palms face down, and then rotate your palms so they face up. And then see if you can continue to rotate your pinky fingers toward the sky or the ceiling, and then rotate all the way down, thumbs face the floor. Keep going, maybe your palms face up in the other direction. And then again, open it up. So try to avoid rounding or hunching your shoulders. So stay upright as you just move from your shoulder sockets. Continue to breathe as the intensity builds in your feet and you should start to feel some heat in your shoulders. Now come back, palms face up. We're gonna come into eagle arms. So bring your right arm underneath your left. Bring the palms of your hands to touch and then draw your shoulders down. Now, if you can't bring the palms of your hands to touch, just cross your arms and reach towards your shoulders. This might feel like a great stretch for you. 
So draw your shoulders down and your elbows in so you're feeling a stretch along the tops of your shoulders and your neck. Unwind your arms and then switch left arm underneath right. Bring the palms of your hands to connect if you can, otherwise touch opposite hand to opposite shoulder. Hope you're feeling your toes now, I know I am. Continue to breathe in eagle arms, stretching the tops of your shoulders and your upper back. This is a really nice stretch to do and we're just taking the balance out of it by not doing our full standing eagle pose. So just really focusing here on the shoulders and upper back. Okay, release your arms and come down onto the tops of your feet. Give them a little bit of a shake first to get the blood rushing back into your toes and the tops of your feet. And then set your hips on your heels. And if you are, have um, no injuries in your ankles or no pain, gently rock back to stretch the tops of your feet and, the sh and your shins. If this is causing you any pain in your ankles, just don't do this pose. And then come back forward and back to tabletop position. We're going to take a twist here. So keep your right hand on the floor, lift your left arm up, and then left arm is going to slide behind the right and come onto your left shoulder and your left ear. Keep your hips high. Deep breath into your belly here. Exhale out all of your air. Inhale. Unwind, reach your left arm up, and then take a half bind here. So bring your left hand towards your right hip, and then actively roll your left shoulder open. Maybe take your gaze up. If you have a healthy neck and there is no strain, gently release your right ear toward your right shoulder. Uh, that feels good to me, but if it doesn't feel good to you, keep your head upright. This is just an extra stretch for the left side of your neck. Okay, unwind and release. On the other side, lift your right arm up. Slide your right arm behind your left. Come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. Hold here, breathing deeply into your belly. So your belly is going to expand like a big balloon. And then as you exhale, you're gonna draw your belly button back toward your spine. On your next breath in, unwind and then take a half bind on this side. So left hand comes, or right hand comes toward, towards your left hip and then actively roll your right shoulder open. If you have a healthy neck and you don't feel any strain, gently release your left ear toward your left shoulder. This side's a little tighter for my neck, so I'm just gonna keep my head a little more upright because I already feel the stretch in the right side of my neck. Unwind and release. Just take a little bump of your hips to the left and look toward your right toes to stretch through your left side. And then bump your hips to the right and look to your left toes. And stretch through your right side. Big breath into your right ribs, right lung. And come back to center. And then bring your right leg off to the right Take your right heel behind your right toes for an inner thigh stretch. Tuck your left toes under, hips to heel. Walk your hands forward. We're just gonna be here for one breath. So inhale and exhale. Come back up. And left leg to the left. Heels behind toes, tuck your right toes under, hip to heel. Walk your hands forward, just one breath here. Inhale. Exhale. And come back, tabletop position. Let's make our way to downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, release your heels down toward the mat. Let your head dangle, and then find some movement here, pedaling through your legs. That's my ankles popping there. 
One more deep breath in and out through your nose in downward facing dog. We're gonna do some standing poses, emphasizing some shoulder stretches in these poses. So take your right leg high, bring your right knee, or sorry, your right foot between your hands and your left knee onto the floor. Lift your arms up overhead, and then encircle your left wrist with your right hand. I'm gonna side bend to the right, stretching through your left ribs, your left shoulder. And then come back to center, side bend to the left. So we're getting the hip and quad stretch and the shoulder and side stretch as well. Come back through center. If your toes aren't tucked under, tuck them under, and then just gently lift your knee off the floor. So you're in crescent lunge now. Hold here for another breath. Now plant your back heel onto the floor. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, press your fists down toward the floor, and then bring your right knee to the inside of your right, or your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Look back toward the back of your mat for a chest expansion. Press the palms of your hands toward one another. Continue to squeeze your right knee toward your right shoulder. Rise up, release your hands. Come into warrior two and just hold warrior two for one breath. And then we'll take cow face arms. So bring your right arm up and over, your left arm behind. Reach for the clasp. If you can't reach the clasp, take your left hand on your right elbow. Or if you have a strap or a shirt, you can hold on to the shirt or strap behind you. Okay, this is going to be a pretty subtle movement, but once you have your arms in position, you're just going to side bend to the left. This is going to increase the stretch in your right side. back to center, release your arms back to warrior two, and then reverse warrior up and back, hands to the floor, step back to plank pose, and then lower all the way down onto your mat. For another chest expansion, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, Press your fists towards your heels. You can keep the tops of your feet flat on the floor if you'd like, or you can lift them up off the floor. So spine strengthener here and bonus shoulder opener as well. So really emphasize pressing your fists back toward your heels to open your chest. And keep the back of your neck open so you're not throwing your head back. Okay, keep your spine long. and release down onto your mat. Bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder and extend your right arm to the right. Roll to the right. Bring your left leg up and over and plant it on the floor. And then rest your right ear on the floor. To mess around with the stretch, just feeling it in your own body, you can walk your hand up toward the front of your mat or back toward the back of your mat. And just feel the difference. This is a pose you can practice standing against a wall as well. And come back to center. Extend your left arm to the left and roll to the left. Right foot comes up and over. Your left ear will rest on your mat. And again, play around feeling into your body in this stretch by moving your hand around until you feel that spot where you feel like you're getting the maximum stretch for your shoulder.
Come back to center. Bring your right arm in and make your way back to downward facing dog. Take your left leg high and step through low lunge. Release your back knee down onto the floor, lift your arms up overhead, encircle your left wrist with your right hand and side bend to the right. Come back to center, switch out the grip, side bend to the left. Come back to center, extend both arms up overhead. If your toes aren't tucked under, tuck them under and then lift your right knee off the floor. Crescent lunge, hold here. Release your right heel down onto the floor. Interlace your hands behind your back for a chest expansion. Press your fists down toward the floor and then bring your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Press the palms of your hands towards one another. Make sure that you're not holding on to any tension in your neck or shoulders. Come all the way back up. Extend your arms into warrior two and hold warrior two for a breath. And left arm up and over, right arm behind for cow face arms. So it might be a different variation on this side and that's fine. Just find the variation that works for you so that you can keep your head over your shoulders and your shoulders over your hips. So don't take the clasp if you find you're doing this or hunching forward or cre creaking your neck. And then very subtle movement here. You're gonna side bend, not back bend, side bend toward the back of your mat. So just stretching through your left side. Come back to warrior two, extend your arms long. And then full reverse warrior, right arm down your back leg and low lunge. Step back plank and then lower all the way down. Extend your arms back by your side, palms face down and then lift everything off the mat. So draw your shoulders away from your ears, fingers reaching toward your heels, another spine strengthener here. Keep the back of your neck open. Extend your legs a little bit wider, arms all the way off to the side. Bring your legs together, bring your arms forward toward the front of your mat, hold. And release, press back to child's pose. Rest in child's pose. and come all the way up. Bring your feet underneath you and come to a seat. You're gonna keep your knees bent. Take the soles of your feet flat to the floor and bring your hands a little bit um, past your hips. Fingers are gonna point toward the front of your mat. So we're gonna do another chest expansion. We're gonna build a little core strength here. So another little bonus move. We're gonna open the hips in the front side of the body in reverse tabletop. So plant down through your heels and lift up. Once you're lifted, make sure that your heels are underneath your knees and that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and that you're not locking out through your elbows. So once you're in position then, press your hips further up, bring your head into alignment with your spine and then roll your shoulders open, open your chest, open your shoulders. So we're opening and strengthening at the same time. And here will be your little bit of core work for this class. Just bring your hips to hover between your hands bring my hands a little bit wider 
to accommodate my hips. And then lift up tabletop and hips between your hands. Just flex your toes back as you come back again. And then set your hips down on, or uh, sitting bones down on the floor. Cross over your ankles and come to kneeling. We're gonna take a more dramatic, big chest opener, heart opener in camel pose. So in camel pose, you can have your feet flat to the floor or you can tuck your toes under. Hips right over your knees. Keep your hips over your knees. Bring your hands to your low back, fingers point down. Draw your elbows back and then start to lift through your chest. Bring your chin off your chest. Start to look up and then maybe reach your hands back towards your heels. Keep your head in line with your spine and then really roll your shoulders open as you lift. Imagine that you have a string coming out of your sternum straight up to the ceiling and it's pulling you up. back up rest your hips down on your heels hands on your knees three big breaths here in and out through your nose see so if right away you can come back to your controlled and steady ujjayi breath We're gonna take a stretch now for our upper back. This is a, a um, pose that rounds us forward. So I'm gonna stay facing this way so you can see if you've never done rabbit pose. So in rabbit pose, you're gonna take a grip onto your heels and then you're gonna round from your head down. So bring your chin to your chest first and then round your shoulders forward. So you feel this nice stretch in your upper back. You're working toward bringing your or er, the crown of your head down toward the floor and then your forehead toward the knees. It's okay if you're not in this full position. We're just working in this direction. If you have a grip on your heels, you can gently press into the crown of your head and lift your hips, working toward stacking them over your knees. Now, there's some weight in my head, but as I hold the pose, I can move my head around. So there's not a lot of pressure. Be mindful of your neck, but just emphasize the stretch in your upper back. This is one of my favorite, favorite stretches. It feels very good if you hold on to tension in your, your upper back, which I often do. So it's a nice stretch for that. And release your hips back towards your heels and make your way to a seat. So we're gonna take one more round of cow face arms. This time we're gonna add the legs to it because this is such an excellent stretch for our shoulders. Bring your left knee to face the front of your mat. Stack your right knee on top of your left and then ground both sitting bones down onto the floor. Right arm up and over, left arm behind. See if you can take the clasp behind your back. But again, don't hunch forward to get the clasp. So back off if you need to, taking your hand onto your elbow. Hold here and breathe. If your hips are open and you'd like to, you can always hinge forward. This is just an option if you're sitting in cow face legs and you don't really feel it, or you can kind of scoot your feet a little bit closer toward the front of your mat. The same adjustment you would make in pigeon to deepen into the hip stretch. One more breath in cow face. And stay seated in your leg position, but just bring your right arm across the center of your body, across the front of your body, and stretch. Lower your shoulder away from your ear. Bring your left arm across the center of your body, or the front of your body, left shoulder away from ear. and release. Now extend your legs long toward the front of your mat. 
We're just gonna take an uh, inverted plank pose now, so another chest opener similar to our reverse tabletop. So hands in the same position. You're gonna keep your legs straight, lift your hips up, press your toes down toward the floor, and once again, once you're in position, really actively lift your chest and roll your shoulders down toward your mat, away from your ears. And lower down. So we're building strength and flexibility at the same time, the beauty of yoga. Bring your right knee toward the center of your mat, facing forward, left knee stacks on top. Left arm up and over, right arm behind. Hold here. So same thing on this side. Make any adjustments that you need to to get your head in line with your spine. And then you can take any variation on the legs to increase the stretch if you'd like. Moving your feet forward or hinging forward, your choice. And we'll just hold it here. release and same thing stretch your left arm across your body draw your shoulder down and stretch your right arm across your body draw your shoulder down and come back come all the way over your ankles and stretch back to child's pose. And keep your right arm extended and slide your left arm underneath your right and come onto your left shoulder, left ear to the mat. One breath here. Extend your left arm forward, slide your right arm underneath your left. One breath here. And extend your right arm forward, one last stretch back. So that was just focusing the backs of our shoulders, our deltoids. And then come all the way through, we're gonna take fish pose before Shavasana, so extend your legs long. Bring your forearms onto the floor. And once again, stay active in your legs. Start to lift your chest. And this time we're gonna lower our head all the way back down toward the mat. Last breath in and release onto your back and take a spinal twist before Shavasana. Hug your knees into your chest. Release your knees to the right and gaze to the left. Continue to breathe all the way down into your belly as you inhale. And just a slight contraction of your core as you exhale, pushing out all of your air. Come back through center and bring your knees to the left, gaze to the right. back towards center, knees to your chest, and Shavasana, extend your legs long, arms rest alongside your body, palms face up, close your eyes, 
and now release your breath. Come back to the natural rhythm, no force or effort. Move into a place of complete and total relaxation in your body, in your breath, in your mind, in your thoughts. I invite you to rest in your Shavasana for as long as you have time for at least another five minutes if you can. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. Have a wonderful day. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts and your words and your heart. Namaste.